you all for joining me this morning, and thanks to the Sargitakis family for uh, being here today and allowing us to use uh, uh, this wonderful business. We are located at uh, Silver State Inc., a local homegrown business here in Utah, and the majority of our economic development in the state comes from businesses like Silver State. They're local, they're homegrown, and they drive our economic development. And they've achieved a model of success that we hope to make possible for all companies here in Utah. I too am a small business owner. I know firsthand and appreciate what small businesses have to <laughs> offer for economic development in our state. And that's why I'm proud today to announce my plan for economic development uh, as governor of the state of Utah. I have a back to basic strategy for growing jobs and the economy, which will fortify Utah's economic growth for companies like Silver State and other companies in the state of Utah. My economic growth plan will expand Utah's economy by focusing on five things. First, creating jobs immediately for Utahns. Second, capitalizing on our unique location in the West. Third, investing in Utah's human capital. Fourth, focusing on Utah's high growth powerhouse industries. And fifth, creating a strong backbone of government that will support economic growth. The first and foremost thing we need to do in Utah is to create jobs immediately. With the highest unemployment rate we've had in 26 years, the time to act is now. My approach will focus on expanding jobs quickly. I will include a new jobs tax credit for, cre for jobs created in Utah. The new jobs tax credit will reward businesses for every newly created job that pays an above average wage. A requirement for employ employers who receive state funds to hire Utahns. In times like these, we need to make sure Utah citizens are getting back to work. Closing out corporate welfare given to firms that are not creating jobs in Utah or do not need incentives. And a requirement for major firms who win state contracts to subcontract a good portion of that work to Utah businesses. Second, as governor, I will capitalize on our location here in the Intermountain West and create the infrastructure to make Utah a successful state both nationally and internationally. Investing in our infrastructure from roads to rail to broadband infrastructure will help us attract capital. And we can expand all of our diverse industries from manufacturing to finance. My plan will also create jobs right now, right here, not just in the future. We can also be a, a leader in trade throughout the United States and internationally by working closely with our new World Trade Center. We must also further capitalize on our tourism industry. Our mountains, valleys, and streams cannot be replicated anywhere else in the world if people only knew. Third, as governor, I will focus on our greatest asset, our people, our human capital. An educated workforce is vital to Utah's economic future. Building the economy of the future here in Utah requires investing in raw materials, the capabilities of our young minds in our schools and colleges, and the workers in our everyday businesses in our state. It also means investing in research and development activities that provide the know-how for new knowledge-based industries. As governor, I will promote world-class research and development and prioritize workforce development and, and as essential components for the new, newly created high-demanding jobs that are coming to Utah. We need to have the best workforce available. We must be able to retrain workers quickly to meet the demands of our new quickly changing economy. We also need to expand our management education so companies can find the management capability to stay and grow in Utah instead of leaving, which is often the case right now. Fourth, I will focus on developing and increasing 
the impact of Utah's high growth powerhouse industries where we have the best chances to build sustainable high wage jobs. There's a tremendous future in our great state in groundbreaking dot coms, aerospace and defense, life sciences, biotech and nutraceuticals, film, agriculture and food processing, energy and manufacturing. We can achieve this through a governor's grant office to help Utah maximize its federal and foundation support, strengthening Utah's small business development centers, and angel investor tax credit, tax incentives for small startup and family run businesses, and encouraging state pension fund investment in targeted Utah industries. We need to capitalize on the entrepreneurship of Utahns and support our locally grown businesses and products. The good news? Utah has the culture and people to grow these companies. The bad news? Instead of appreciating and capitalizing on Utah's natural advantages in the small, the innovative, and the here, our state leaders have spent too much time focused on the big, the outdated, and elsewhere. We need leadership who recognizes what can help us build on the traditional Utah values we already have in place so we can create a brighter future for our citizens. We can build the jobs and businesses of the future right here in Utah. We have the brains, we have the ideas, the entrepreneurs, and the workforce. What we need are the basics. We need the backbone. We can create the physical infrastructure to connect our people and products with the rest of the world. We can invest in Utah's people and their sharp minds. We can leverage the needed business and financial infrastructure. Finally, we can establish real leadership in state government to empower the private sector and get out of the way by promoting fiscal discipline and government efficiency, cutting government red tape, simplifying regulations, and maintaining Utah's great quality of life. The good news, it's a simple, back-to-basics solution that can empower businesses, big and small, grow jobs, and get Utah moving again. That's why I want to be Utah's next governor. I want to make it happen. Thank you very much.